Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, I was looking at the new features that are in the current beta version of Photoshop and I saw something that piqued my interest. It's actually an improvement to a tool that is already in Photoshop. So, in today's video, we're going to take a look at this new improved tool that's in the beta version of Photoshop and compare to how it works in the current version of Photoshop. Now, more specifically, as you can see, I have the beta version of Photoshop open. And if I go up here into the top right and click on this little flask, we'll get a list of everything that is new in this current beta version of Photoshop. Now, what caught my eye is this section right here, remove workflow improvements. Let me read part of this to you. Specialized generative AI in remove tool. The remove tool now uses a unique dedicated generative AI model for superior object removal. Benefits include cleaner fills, better blending, pattern matching, and object reconstruction. Set the remove tool mode in the options bar to auto, may use generative AI, or generative AI on to try out this beta technology. That's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to close this down. Now I mentioned I want to compare how it works in this beta version of Photoshop where it's supposedly improved to how it works in the current version of Photoshop. And I want to start out in the current version of Photoshop. So this is Photoshop 2025. This is not the beta version. We're going to get the remove tool. The keyboard shortcut for the remove tool is the J key. But be aware, the J key keyboard shortcut is shared by a number of different tools that are removal type tools. So go over in the toolbar, click on the little icon for the remove tool and make sure that you're using the actual remove tool and not one of those other healing tools or anything like that. And by the way, on my website, anthonymorganti.com, I have a full list of all of the keyboard shortcuts that are in Photoshop. It's a PDF that you could download for free and print at home. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to my website so you could grab that for yourself. Also, if you find my YouTube videos of value, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember to click that little bell so that you get notifications of when I post new videos. All right, we're in the current version of Photoshop. I want to remove all these people. Before I do that, I want to duplicate the background layer because I don't like doing work directly on the background layer. So I'm going to hit Command-J on my Mac, Control-J on the PC. Now, we have the Remove tool. We're going to go up here and we're going to go to Find Distractions, People. What it will do is it'll find all the people in the image and it found all the people in this observation area and even the people down here. It found all of them. That's great. Now, the mode, it mentioned to use either Auto, May Use Generative AI, or Generative AI On. I'm going to compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges. For both applications, I'm going to put it on Generative AI On. I'm going to sample all layers for both and then we'll click the little check mark. Now, what will happen, it will send the image up to Adobe servers and it will do the heavy lifting there. It does not use any generative AI credits when you use the remove tool. So don't worry about that. How fast it goes really depends on the resolution of the image, the size of the image and how fast your internet connection is and how busy their servers are. If their servers aren't busy, it will be a lot faster. So as you can see, it removed the people. And what it often does, uh, I've noticed on this image, is it reconstructs this observation area. If I zoom in by hitting Command Plus on my Mac a couple times and kind of scroll down, you can see that it has this kind of wall it built over here. And I'm not sure what's going on over here. And it's kind of has this area over here now that's inaccessible. So it's, I never like that. It always does it, though. It always, always does it on this image. I'm not sure why. So there is a before and there's an after. All right, let's go to the beta version of Photoshop. And let's again get the remove tool. Again, we're going to go up to find, I don't, and by the way, I don't have to actually duplicate the background layer because there's a new feature here, create new layer. That's new as well. So we'll leave that checked, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go to find distractions, people. We'll get that red overlay over the people. We're going to make sure that generative AI is on, like I did before. Sample all layers is on, and I am going to create a new layer. And then we'll click the little check mark. And just like before, it does send it up to their servers, and all the work is done up there. And then when it comes back, let's see if it's any better. Now, I've tried it a few times, and sometimes it's a little better, and sometimes it isn't. Now, and this is one of those cases where I guess it's a little better. It didn't build that weird kind of wall over here on the right. But this part in the middle, again, if I hit Command Plus a couple times and kind of scroll down, this like is like a metal part of the 
you know, observation area, it didn't reconstruct that well at all. Uh, that is totally messed up. Now, this isn't like regular generative AI where it will give you three variations and you could try the variations. If you don't like the results, what you would need to do is go like turn off this layer or throw it in the garbage, go back to the background layer, then go back up here to find distractions, people, let it get that overlay again, then make sure everything is set up the way you want it up here, and then click the check mark again to get another example. And again, though it takes time, it sends it up to their servers. So what I'm getting at is in some ways it seems to be improved uh, where, it, you know, there that's almost perfect this time, uh, but it's still not perfect. Now it is in beta and they're supposedly, you know, going to be improving it. And when they feel like it's working the best it could work with, I guess, today's technology, they'll put it in the current version of Photoshop. But you can see the second try here, it did a much better job. So that's pretty good. Let's try another one. Let's go to the current version of Photoshop and go to this image here. This is um, Ohio Stadium at Ohio State University, often called the horseshoe or the shoe. And this is another one that I've had a difficult time removing the people because uh, they're just in front of these kind of weird guardrails and things like that. So it's always difficult to remove the people. So again, I'm going to duplicate the background layer because I am the, in the current version of Photoshop, Photoshop 2025, uh, Command or Command Control J to do that. We have the Remove Tool active. We're going to go up here to Find Distractions, People. We'll get that overlay. I'm going to sample all layers. A generative AI is on, and we're going to click the little check mark. And again, it's going to send it up to their servers, and hopefully it goes kind of quick so I don't have to talk, do this for a long time here, and bore you to death. But we'll see what it does. And like I mentioned, usually this was difficult for it to do. It had a hard time doing this. Actually, this looks pretty good. This is probably the best, of course, when I'm doing the video. This is probably the best it ever did. So let's zoom in. Now, again, I'm in the current version of Photoshop, so this isn't the improved tool. There is kind of funky look back here, and it added this can, which wasn't there to begin with, some weird kind of writing on it. But actually, this actually isn't bad. This is kind of funky over in here like the bottom of the gate is missing and again it doesn't give you like three variations or anything like that to try it you know uh you know to try to look at the other variations you get what you get but again this is the best i've ever had it work in the current version of photoshop let's see how it does in the new improved tool in the beta version of photoshop so we'll go to that same exact image we have the remove tool active. I don't have to duplicate the background layer. We're going to find the distraction people. And it has the red overlay. We're going to sample all layers. Generative AI is on. We're going to create a new layer. And we're going to click the little check mark. And let's see how it does here. And it removed the people. And it actually looks pretty good. Let's zoom in. Hit command plus a couple times. Again, it's control plus on a PC. And it looks pretty good. It did a better job than the other version, whether or not it's totally acceptable. Let's see. Looks pretty good. Yeah, the, they didn't, like, cut off the bottom part of the gate here. Actually, this looks almost perfect. So this did a much better job uh, than the uh, current version of Photoshop. So it is improved. But again, it's still in beta. Um, I anticipate it getting better and better the more they sample and the more they tweak uh, tweak it to make it work better but it's something to keep an eye on and if you often find you're using the remove tool in photoshop now i use the remove tool in a specific way i went up to find distractions people to do it but it this new improved remove tool is overall so if i just use the tool itself without going to find distractions and let's say i just paint on something like i want to remove the sign and i click the little check mark theoretically this new remove tool will do a better job. It did a horrible job, uh, but it would do a better job uh, than it would with the current version of Photoshop. You can see when I say it did a horrible job. So you can do it again and again and again. Yeah, you see it's doing a bad job every time. But anyway, I should have stopped while I was ahead. It's a little better. But who's who would want to remove the sign anyway, right? So with that said, we could take all these layers throw them in the garbage and we're right back to where we started well not where we started but where we were after we removed all the people and it did it did a pretty good job so again the remove tool 
feature isn't limited to fine distractions people. It supposedly will work better with wires and cables. Maybe I'll do a video on that someday and show the difference uh, to how it compares with the current version of Photoshop. And it supposedly works better if you just use it as a brush to remove things in an image. So that's it for this video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.